In this problem, we have two linkages, AB and BC, that are pinned together. Linkage AB is also pinned at A, and BC can slide horizontally at C. They are both of one meter long, and they form an angle with a horizontal of 30 degrees. We are asked to find the relative velocity of B with respect to C. So in order to do this, we first need to determine the velocity at B and C. We know the velocity at C, VC, is equal to 1 meter per second in the i-hat direction. We're going to define x as being positive that way, y positive this way, and a positive rotation in that direction. Now that we know VC, we need to determine VB. And this is how we determine VB. So we have two linkages, so we're going to apply the velocity equations at both linkages. So let's start with link 1. So 1, we know that VB is going to be equal to omega AB cross R of B with respect to A. Again, this is because A is pinned, so there is no velocity at A. We can plug in magnitude of omega AB is, and then omega AB is in the negative k hat direction, as we know, because this will be, since this is moving to the right, these two bars will flatten out, which means that this whole thing is rotating in this direction, which is opposite to our positive direction. So I extracted the magnitude and the direction to get the whole vector. So I can get rid of the cross product. And then this is going to be crossed to the radius of R of B with respect to A, which is this radius over here. So this is R of B with respect to A. And uh, that has the following form. 1 cos of 30 degrees plus 1 sine of 30 degrees, the j hat direction. I'm sorry, this is in the i hat direction. So again, I just split it into the two component, x and y. And they're both positive. So if I take the cross product, the magnitude of omega ab times sine of 30 degrees in the i hat minus cos 30 degrees in the j hat. And this is my first e expression for VB. Right. Now I'm going to use, create and get another expression because again I don't know omega AB, right? I need to use this other link and uh, the velocity C here to determine VB. So from link 2 VB is equal to VC plus omega BC cross R of B with respect to C. So again, we have this term in here now because this point is actually moving. So um, it's not pinned like A, it's moving. So we need to include that velocity. So VC is going to be 1 meters per second in the i hat direction. We have it over here. Plus the cross product of omega BC. And again, this is the magnitude. And I split it from its uh, direction, uh, which is in the k hat direction, because that is positive, cross the radius. So this here is going to be R of B with respect to C, which in this case points this way, R of B with respect to C. So what we need to do is it is essentially the same as this radius because it's symmetric, but the x component actually points in the negative direction. So negative 1 cos of 30 degrees plus 1 sine of 30 degrees. And I forgot the directions. This is in the j hat direction. 
and this is in the i hat direction. And I have gotten rid of this, I've separated this so I can actually do the cross product, um, and uh, it gets me the following equation. 1 in the i hat plus omega bc times negative sine of 30 degrees in the i hat minus cos of 30 degrees in the j hat direction. And so now I can equate vb. So 1 vb is equal to 2 vb. So this is essentially this vb over here. This expression is equal to this because vb needs to be the same value, uh, which gets me which gets me two equations because I have two components. So I have the i hat components, so this and these two, and then another equation is these two components over here. So these are the following two equations that I get. Omega AB sine of 30 in the i hat direction, 30 degrees, is equal to negative omega BC sine of 30 degrees in the i hat direction plus 1. And then we have negative omega AB cos of 30 degrees in the j hat direction is equal to negative omega BC cos of 30 degrees in the j hat direction. And you can see that we can get rid of these uh, unit vectors now because they're the same in both equations. We can also get rid of cos 30 over here because it's present on both sides. And the first thing we can pull is that the magnitude, these should all be magnitudes, magnitude of omega AB is equal to the magnitude of omega BC. And yeah, these should all be magnitudes because I, I pulled it out of the cross product and I, I left the direction uh, outside. So over here, I um, pulled out the direction. I pulled out um, the direction over here um, to just leave it in terms of the magnitude. So again, we can't tell if this is positive or negative. Uh, but we know that the magnitudes are equal, so they're going to have the same magnitude. And if we look at the drawing back here, we can tell that one is going to spin this way, one is going to spin the other way, so they have opposing signs. So we can also say that the vector omega AB um, is going to be the negative of omega BC. Right? And this is the full expression. So same magnitude, but different sign. It's actually opposite, in the opposite direction. And with the other equation, so with this equation up here, we can substitute and we get the following. Omega AB is equal to 1 over 2 sine of 30 degrees, 1 radian per second. So from here, we now know that omega AB is equal to negative omega BC, which is equal to 1 radian per second in the k hat direction. And then omega AB is the first one we said was rotating in the negative direction. So we actually have to add a negative in front over here. And now that we know omega AB, we can find VB. So VB is going to be equal to, we're just going to use the left side because it's a simpler equation. Uh, we said that this is VB, omega AB cross of RFB with respect to A, right? Uh, so this is omega AB cross RFB with respect to A. And we know we can just copy this equation over here. We now know the magnitude of omega AB, right? 
uh, this is just going to be one radian per second. And we also know that the relative velocity v b with respect to c is equal to v b minus v c. This is going to be equal to, so we solve that cross product. This is just going to be equal to I got a b times sine of 30 degrees in the i hat minus cos of 30 degrees in the j hat. And we know that this here is going to be 1 radian per second times sine of 30 degrees in the j hat minus cos of 30 degrees in the i hat minus 1 radian or meter per second, sorry, in the i hat. So again, this here is vb, this is vc. And we could simplify this so we can plug in the sign terms and we get that VB with respect to C is equal to negative 0 0.5 the I hat minus 0 0.866 in the J hat meters per second. And this is our final relative velocity.